How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the corner. My name is Rob and today I'll be taking a look at the G Wolf School Lightweight Gaming Mouse. Let's dive right in. Here is everything you get with the mouse. As you can see, G Wolves has done an amazing job to ensure the unboxing is as pleasant an experience as possible. When you open the box, the first thing you get is another tin box inside that is made of a similar material as those lunch boxes we had in preschool. Inside that, you have another postcard with the same cover art, along with other art options on the back. You also get a pack with two extra mouse feet inside and an extra label sticker for the bottom of the mouse. But by far the best value is that you get a second mouse cable if ever your first one has issues. The skull has an ergonomic shape made for right-handed users. It is made of a plastic with a nice matte finish that is very comfortable for long periods of use. The side buttons are also well positioned and easy to reach. g -Wolves has this mouse listed at 66 grams without the cable. Mine came in at 68 grams, so no surprises there. The shelf features a two-tone color scheme with a honeycomb pattern, which is the main reason why the skull is such a lightweight mouse. At the bottom, we have four mouse feet that cover the screws to open up the mouse, along with two skates to help with the glide. If there's one weak point on this mouse, it would be the feet and skates. Not that they're horrible, it's just that we've seen better quality feet and skates on other mouse, like the Model O. The cable that comes stock on the mouse is extremely lightweight and flexible, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I was using it with the mouse bungee though, so your mileage may vary. Here is a sound test to hear what the clicks sound like. As for the software on the skull, it is pretty straightforward and easy to use. You have all the usual customizable lighting effects such as breathing, cycle, wave, static and other ones and you can choose the color, brightness and speed based on your personal preference. All the buttons on the skull can be customized to whatever you want and you can choose to save up to 7 preset DPI options ranging anywhere from 200 to 12,000 which you can change on the button on the bottom of the mouse. The software also allows you to create multiple profiles and set up different macro keys to your liking. Overall, this mouse has been my daily driver for about 6 months now and I absolutely love using it. At the moment, I'm testing out the Razer Viper Ultimate to see if I prefer an ambidextrous wireless mouse, but if I do go back to the skull, I would like to buy new feet for it for a better glide and maybe a paracord. Not because the cable isn't good enough, but only because I like to get one with a different color scheme to match my setup. The mouse currently goes for $80 US or $100 Canadian, which I think is definitely worth it considering the amount of value you are getting bundled with the mouse. So that'll do it for this review guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I will see you guys later.